Alright, so let me lay out the plan for you. Now, if you remember, I, I've already cut out the, the rust, tried to make a pretty straight line. I've applied rust converter, and now I, I primed it. I didn't show you that, I just squirted it with the primer. Uh, so it's nice and sealed because uh, once, once this is all done, uh, you won't be able to get in there. So it won't get sand, it won't be able to get sandblasted, it won't be able to get uh, treated for rust anyway. So this this curve, the, the main part of the curve is through here, and then it kind of flattens out. Here. So there's there should be a little bit of a curve to this uh, to this this part that we're replacing, but because it's so slight and we're going to have to bondo over uh, this this area anyway. I, my plan is to leave this section flat. Then we're only worrying dealing with the curve that's on this piece. If you see this curves, and we end up uh, you know centimeter out back here. Uh, I still have the original curve corner here, so I don't have to worry about. About that and you can't see that right out of frame there you go uh, so I'm gonna do it in a couple sections uh, I'm gonna uh, put it up there mark on the bottom where the curve where the curve is so it'll be like or along here <clears throat> and then I'll add the, the depth cut it out and then uh, bend it down as I've, I've done before. I'll do that in several sections along along the bottom and then uh, you know weld it up as we go. Probably start on both sides and work my way to the center because there's less of a curve in the center. Yeah, it sounds like a good plan. Um, the nice part is that this this part has a, has a lip down here. So let's see if I can show it to you. Not so well. See that lip? So that's that's where the fold needs to go. Uh, it go, runs right along this, this line, then it gets uh, clamped together and spot welded. So, um, even though this was all rusted out and, and completely gone, I still have this to uh, to guide me along the way. Okay, so that's the plan. I'm going to start with a, a piece over here and bring it towards the center.
Well, there we are. Uh, it's all tacked in place. I'm very happy with the results. I know it looks a bit Frankenstein, but uh, believe me, that's a thing of beauty right there. Once it's uh, finished welded, a uh, little bondo, a little sanding, some primer, it'll look good as new. So on these uh, door pillars, they have these holes, which uh, the door hinges screw into, and they're, they're bigger. It screws into this plate, which is on the back. Um, and this allows you to adjust the hinge up and down, back and forth. Problem is, I, uh, I keep running into the edge. There's not quite enough adjustment in them to uh, put the door exactly where I want. So, um, there's this uh, little bracket in back, which I've drilled out the spot welds and uh, taken the plate out of. <clears throat> and now I'm going to drill them all bigger so I have more adjustment. I've already done this on the other side and it, uh, it gave me the room I needed to adjust things. So, that's what I'm doing this morning. Uh, trying to prepare this side so everything's exactly where it goes, so I can start finish welding. components are lining up, door gaps are good, so uh, time to move on to something else. So I'm here on the, uh, where am I on the passenger side? So I'm here on the passenger side. I had already welded the, or tack welded the top of the, the top of the rocker, but I hadn't done the bottom yet. So, as you can see, I'm using these C-clamps, or G-clamps as the British call them, I think, to, to squish the, the rocker panel. Um, this gets it to line up with the bottom, and then I use uh, vice grips to, to hold it on there while I, while I tack it in. See, I already have the tacks in place in a couple spots. Uh, and that will hold it. Then, I can take these off. Close the door. And check my gap. And it looks pretty good from here. I don't know if you can see that very well. On the screen, it's uh, kind of black. Anyway, I'm happy with that. Figuring out that I needed to squish these... Uh, these rocker panels to get them to fit has is, is made a huge difference. It's the big problem I was fighting on the driver's side. So that the, the C-shape of the rocker panel had flared out and it needed to be brought back into shape. Otherwise, it was too long and it stuck down at the bottom way too much. So, with that, um, things are going back in place. Um, making good progress. My door gaps are looking good. Um, just about to the point where I'm going to take it all apart, um, put it back on the uh, rotisserie, and then I can finish weld stuff. 
So at this point, there's lots and lots of stuff that is just tacked together to make sure it fits. The great thing about welding is you make a few tacks, it's like instant super glue. It's, it just, uh, it feels so solid, you know, compared to like woodwork where you put some wood glue on it and some screws and you wait 24 hours for it to harden up. This, you, you make a few tacks and boom, it ain't going anywhere. Unless you get the grinder out. Anyway, that's the progress for the morning. Ah, oh, one other thing I need to do. I need to drill the holes for the, where the fender meets the body and screw that into place and bolt it into place because uh, that ain't done yet. Then when I put it back on, um, after it's painted and everything, it'll just uh, bolt all right back together. And that little piece of metal right in the center of your screen there hanging down, that, that'll get cut off after I get the, the fender bolted. Why don't I do that now and you can have a look. Got man glitter all over me. <laughs> it's all over the floor too. Hey, man glitter. So with that, I have the bottom line of the car finished. Yay! So it's nice to be able to see the, the lines of the car again. Well, again, I was never able to see the, this uh, bottom line. Um, I don't know if you remember when I first picked it up, I, I had concerns about um, the, this front where it angled here. 
it looked really strange. I'll try and show you a picture of it now. Yeah, so uh, now I can I can see how it's supposed to look. So uh, I've been talking a lot about having a uh, putting a puzzle together without having the uh, without having the picture. Well, now I got the picture. Yeah, I know I've seen other cars online. I've seen videos of other cars, but uh, you know you see it in 3D. It's it's a different thing. Anyway, it's nice to be at this point. So now I just need to take it apart and finish fold it. If you like this video, click the like button below. If you want to come along on the ride as we complete this project, click the subscribe button. If you want to make sure Google reminds you every time there's a new video, click the alarm bell. Your support is very much appreciated.